Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Mike White from Transform, the gallium nitride transistor maker. Mike, Transform is uh, putting a lot of effort into some R&D and specifically some reference designs for some gallium nitride circuits. Can you tell us a little bit about that effort? Yes. Um, people have been talking about GAN for a long time. We're starting to see a lot of activity from our customers doing GAN-based designs. But one of the things still holding the market back is an expertise doing high-speed design for GAN. And so we've made a significant investment in the last two quarters, creating a state-of-the-art applications lab up in Silicon Valley. And we've brought in system-level designers who have understanding of most of our customers' challenges. And they've been developing designs that are optimized for performance, power density, efficiency, cost, manufacturability. Because what we want to have the ability to do is demonstrate how GAN performs as opposed to showing performance graphs and other solutions. So we have a hands-on lab where we can not only solve customer challenges, but we can divide, uh, provide reference designs that are going to help customers get through that fuzzy front end of layout, optimizing their application circuits, and doing design for EMI. Can you give us a couple of examples of some of the reference stuff that you're working on? Yeah. So um, we have uh, been working with a number of server manufacturers, and they have a standard 1U power supply form factor that right now silicon gives them a, a 1.4 to 1.6 kilowatt power supply. We've been able to develop a, a 2.2 kilowatt power supply in that same 1U form factor that has 99% efficiency both at the PFC and at the DC uh, level, DC-DC level. So it's a 98% efficient solution for that uh, higher power density applications for data centers and, and, and media servers. Uh, we've also been doing a lot of automotive reference design, so we're working with companies that are doing uh, uh, electric vehicle battery charging as well as the AC inverters, and we're developing solutions that take the size and the weight of those types of applications and cut them in half, which as you know is very important for automotive manufacturers. Uh, another great example is photovoltaic inverters. In fact, the, the box right behind us here is the Yaskawa inverter which uh, was a, uh, a residential PV application for the Japanese market, and they've gotten a, a much higher power density, about a 40% improvement uh, in, in power density for that type of application. Oh, that's interesting work, Mike. Thanks for uh, describing it to us. Okay, thank you.